I was very excited about this one, seeing a big boobalicious bottom on the cover with a pretty top. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be discussing Two Moments in Time by Sea Light. And this review is thanks in part to those of you who took part in my poll. This was the last choice in the poll, Goblin and Human with a Hunky Bottom. And if you'd like to check out the other two options, you can watch them by clicking the annotation or the links in the description. If you'd like to help decide what to read next, go ahead and subscribe, get your BL Library card for the BL Library, and be on the lookout for my community posts with the polls. Before we get started, there will be spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled on this manhwa, go and click off now. No worries, I'll catch you next time. For those of you who decide to stick around, let's go over some content warnings. There may be references to power imbalance, memory loss, invasion of privacy, age gap, drowning, dubcon, and possible non-con, death, violence, murder, being orphaned, memory manipulation, BDSM, and suicide as these things do appear in the manhwa. But if that's okay with you, let's go and get started. A goblin is in love with a human named Do Hyung, and he has been for decades. Unfortunately, the goblin and Do Hyung are in a never ending stream of meeting, falling in love, having sex, and starting over again. When the goblin and Do Hyung have sex, the goblin's power is enough to erase much of Do Hyung's memory about the goblin, leaving them to meet and fall in love all over again. It's painful, but the only way to prevent it is to give Do Hyung his name, but that would mean the goblin would lose the ability to read Do Hyung's mind, which he's not willing to do. The love of humans is fleeting. And by giving his name, the goblin would lose his one way of ensuring Do Hyung's fleeting feelings do not hurt him. But even without knowing his name or retaining his memories, Do Hyung falls for the goblin time and time again, thanks in part to a curse. Do Hyung is followed by a grim reaper, determined to kill him both to obtain the last death he needs to become ruler of the underworld and get revenge against the goblin. This results in seemingly never ending attempts on Do Hyung's life, narrowly prevented each time by the goblin. This makes it much easier to seduce Do Hyung as his beloved savior. But the threat of losing Do Hyung forever is becoming too much to bear. Will the goblin ever reveal his name to the human he loves more than anything in the world? Or will the reaper get revenge and take Do Hyung before the goblin ever gets his chance? Usually I would start by discussing the art. While I do have a lot to talk about on that, there's something we have to go over first. The quality of the translation here. To my surprise as I started reading this, I saw the old Copen Comics logo at the bottom of the pages. Copen Comics has since shut down, but it had some titles I remember fondly and I hope other platforms will pick up. However, I also remember how much I disliked the font choices and the poor translations. This is a perfect example of both of those things. Unfortunately, if you're expecting Lezen's level of quality, you will be sorely mistaken. There are a ton of misspellings, awkward phrasing, added words, and the like. It makes for a rough reading experience, one that is reminiscent of poorly done scanlations. There's also a point where Do Hyung switches from calling the goblin savior to saying Union, which means savior. I certainly prefer that name to savior, but it just suddenly changes over halfway through the story, which makes no sense. Then our goblin's real name is spelled two different ways, and it just goes to show how inconsistent this is. But that's not the end of my disappointment. I was very excited about this one, seeing a big boobalicious bottom on the cover with a pretty top. I adore it when the bottom is bigger and more masculine than the top, and I thought I would enjoy that with this one. Unfortunately though, the art is really rough. It certainly has its pretty moments, but it reminds me of early Brothers Without a Tomorrow, which I admittedly hated. It's very inconsistent and funky looking most of the time, which can make it hard to enjoy, including during the sexy time. Do you all remember Yaoi Hands? They pop up in modern BL occasionally, but this title goes one step further. We have full on Yaoi arms. Oh my goodness! Is it funny? Yes. Is it meant to be? Not at all. It's just disappointing. And unfortunately, the story isn't much better. The first half to two thirds is nonsensical. I believe it's supposed to span multiple weeks to days at minimum, but we jump from instance to instance of our goblin meeting Do Hyung, Do Hyung falling in love, and them having sex. So it all has to begin again. I never get the feeling that these two have any chemistry, and the memory loss isn't even an issue, as it seems like Do Hyung is ready to hop into bed as soon as his savior reveals he's a mystical goblin. I feel like the creator was also struggling with the memory loss thing as it isn't long before they have sex using condoms for the first time and then they never have to deal with the memory loss issue ever again. There are multiple story points that just don't make sense, are abandoned, randomly appear to explain away something, or are just never explored, like who the goblin's friends are, the sudden appearance of the imprint, and the like. Towards the end, it starts to come together, but barely so, and it all ends in a very unsatisfying way. I also have to mention that this is one of those age gap titles where the two meet when one is an adult and the other is a child. I hate these setups 
setups so much. And while some titles are hard to hate because everything else works so well in them, this one is very easy to despise on that front. Our goblin promises to protect child Do Hyung forever because Do Hyung rescued him. But then the goblin doesn't see him again until he's an adult. So why did they have to meet when Do Hyung was a child? I feel like the setup would have been just as successful if Do Hyung, as a young adult, found him, rescued him, and then went through all the hardship he did. It wouldn't be as weird, and the gap between when the goblin promised to protect him and when they met again wouldn't have been as nonsensical. This might not bother many people, but it does me, and it's just one more icky thing on top of a lousy cake. With all that being said, this is a huge miss. The story makes little to no sense, the smut is boring, and the art is far from consistent. I'm being pretty harsh here, but I was really looking forward to this title. I love goblin romances and beefy bottoms. And while these elements can help a lot, they did not help here. If anything, their presence just made this all the more disappointing. This is on the shorter side, which means it's cheaper, but it's still not worth it. So, have you read Two Moments in Time? If so, what do you think? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you not? Let me know in the comment below. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye!